So leave it to me to copper shim an orange Pi 5. Hey everyone, how's it going? As you can see, I now have four orange Pi 5s. The very basic model, four gigs, and they mine Varus hash. This was my first original two. This is number three. No, sorry, this is number three, and this is my latest one, number four. Uh, I had to flash copy the micro SD operating system to these two to fix a little issue that I had with it. Something with the updates, so no more updates, just let them run. What I'm doing though is, I forget where the heck I saw it. It was on the Varus Discord. Someone tried copper shims with these fans and wow, talk about a temperature drop. Let's look at this one that's running right now for like the last five, 10 minutes or so, which is uh, Orange Pi 5 number three. So to check the temperature and the frequency on this, we're gonna go shell into the Orange Pi. We're gonna do a pseudo Orange Pi dash config. And we're going to go down to software and click on monitor. And this is going to show you all this information. You can see we're running 2.4 gigahertz on the big cores, 1.8 on the little cores. The load is basically eight, which would mean it's running about 100%. Look at the temperature just under 38 C here in my basement. Now let's switch over to the miner. So I'm going to do a control C. Get out of here. And we'll do a screen dash R. But you see, we're getting just under seven mega hash out of this Orange Pi 5. And it's running nice and cold. So let me put one of these two on. Let them run for 10 minutes. And you can see what the stock temperature is when you are using basically their puke pink caps that they have. Okay, so now we are on Orange Pi 5 number one. I tried two and didn't even realize this fan still spins, but it's going bad already. I need to find replacement fans because they suck, but they do spin. It still works. This one is still okay. It's not making any noise. The bearing's not bad. It's still spinning nicely. So, if you come on over here, we can already see just after logging in, CPU temp of 61C. Let's go in the Orange Pi config. On the software monitor and you can see we're still running 2.4 gigahertz on the big cores 1.8 gigahertz on the small cores 100 percent cpu look at that temperature 62.8 c that's crazy let's get out of here back exit and screen dash r and you can see we're running a little bit slow here, 6.6, .6, probably because it's running so much hotter. So let's go ahead and break this down and do the shim to this one and see where it goes to. Okay, so now we're down to this unit itself. Let's take off this heat sink. And you can see we're still using that puke pink pad that they gave us. Definitely some residual oil. So let's take one of our little copper shims here. And today we're going to be trying this. This worked really good on the um, Orange Pi 5 number four. This is Prolima PK3, 35 gram tube. This stuff works really well. So what we're gonna do first, put a nice dab on top of the SOC itself. and spread it out. Then we'll go through the copper shim right on top. Press down really good, give it a little bit of movement, make sure it's got a really good contact there. Then I got some extra on my little spatula here, so let's use that first. Yeah, I think that'll work nicely. Now let's just center it back out again. And let's put the heat sink back on. And let's put these back on so it retains the heat sink. 
Yeah, we're good. We are now copper shimmed. So let's go ahead and plug it back in and power it on. Okay, so I've let it run for a few minutes. We are pulling 8.1 watts. Let's log back in. So. Oh my God, it's only 40 C. And it's been running for a little while. Let's see here. Ah, it's not gonna remember, you pain the butt. So sudo orange pi dash config. I can't type. Okay, down to software, look at the monitor, check that out. Still got the same frequencies, got the load. Yeah, there's 100% load. 40.7C, maybe 41.6. It's 20C cooler than it was before. That's insane. Let's go to the minor. Control C. Back, exit, screen, dash R. And we are hashing away. Not hashing very good at the moment though. Let's give it a few minutes to see if it uh, comes up. So for some reason I had to restart the miner. Don't know what the heck happened, but yeah, now we're hashing at 6.8 mega hash. Perfect. So if you're mining Varus with orange Pi 5s or just doing anything with orange Pi 5s, get yourself some copper shims. Oh my God, so much better. And on a side note, this other heatsink that's made for the orange Pi 5, A or B, normally has a little 40 millimeter fan in here. Absolute garbage do not buy this off of amazon uh the cpu was running 80 c on this it just cannot dissipate the heat correctly go with the ice one that has the little two copper heat pipes in it works so much better and this makes it even better so i will have links for the correct thickness copper shims and this new prolima pk3 thermal paste that seems to work really freaking good down in the video description below. Thanks for watching, and I will catch you on the next video.